a trusted currency. Secure and efficient payments are core public goods. We sometimes overlook this truth in our fast-paced, digitalized world. Payments are getting faster and easier, such as PICs and mobile money. But for many of us, digital payments simply aren't an option, since they require a bank account or at least a mobile phone. And in most cases, they require a network or internet connection. Currently, cash is the only means of payment that works universally. So for a central bank digital currency that intends to stay true as a public good and complement cash, a CBDC should preserve the same characteristics. It's therefore vital that we have a parallel digital cash system, one that continues to keep working regardless if the cloud is down or if you're simply somewhere without connectivity. Not only would this strengthen the resilience of the payment system, this would support financial inclusion as well as preserving the cash-like privacy for digital payments to some extent. Driven by how a well-designed CBDC can benefit society, we developed GND Filia. Since day one, we envisioned beyond the existing to enable secure, consecutive offline payments. This functionality is enabled by the token-based Filia protocol, coupled with secure hardware elements, such as the chip found in payment cards, which was actually invented in our GND labs back in the 70s. We also introduced the first commercial SIM card 30 years ago and continue to be at the forefront of innovative digital solutions with the next generation eSIM. Payments are and still remain the core business of GND. However, we're also a global market leader in providing trusted connectivity, safeguarding identities and protecting digital infrastructures. We've come a long way since our foundation in 1852 and a trusted partner with over 100 central banks. So, it goes without saying that GND is well positioned in designing the foundational framework of a resilient CBDC. And offline functionality is a crucial part of that. For example, a payment between two smart cards using our own Filia battery power device. The Filia protocol ensures the mutual authentication between offline wallets and guarantees that only verified wallets can participate. To put it simply, the payment happens when one piece of cryptographic data is transferred from one wallet to another. The protocol also prevents double spending and loss of funds if the connection between two devices is interrupted during a transaction. But smart cards are not the only technology supporting offline payments. Other devices, such as key fobs and wearables, can also be used. We are currently developing payment between two offline mobile phones, each using highly secure hardware elements embedded within. Here, we see a payment between two smart cards using NFC-enabled smartphones. Through our software development kits, offered as part of the solution, we allow third parties to easily integrate CBDC into their existing applications. Each of these transactions can occur purely offline. The CBDC can immediately be respent without going online. And none of these transactions require a bank account, neither from the payer nor the payee. All are true dual offline payments made possible by GND Filia. This is only one part of the story though. The Filia protocol caters for both the offline and the online world. The Filia ecosystem can run on any type of cloud and can run on bare metal too. The technologies used are diverse, ranging from highly distributed databases, container technology, and RESTful APIs for a seamless integration to the CBDC network. All surrounded by a multi-tier security design, including a strong public key infrastructure, hardware and software components to manage sensitive cryptographic material, and virtual private networks. The Filia CBDC solution delivers a stable digital complement to cash, as well as a fundamental backup in case of outage. A CBDC must be for everyone, anywhere, at any time. And whether you're in the city, in the mountains or at the beach, you can always rely on GND Filia. 
Only in this way can it be a truly inclusive public digital currency. Muito obrigado.